Okay, in this video we're going to do a camera shake in OpenTunes. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when I open OpenTunes, I have three columns. I have a background column, which is a PNG that I created in Krita. And the size of it is 60 pickle... <laughs> Pickles, uh, 60 pixels greater than my OpenTunes canvas. So my OpenTunes canvas is 1920 by 1080. And so I made the PNG 1980 by 1140 at 120 PPI. Okay. And that will give us room to move the camera around but you'll still see the background, okay? And what's cool about this is we're animating the camera. So every column that we have will move as well. So even if like I have a flower column, if this is animated, it will shake too. And this is my character rough. So I'm gonna hit play. So the idea I have is that this little bee, he comes flying in and boom, he hits the flower and dives right into the middle of it. Okay. And it's on ones. So let's go ahead and auto renumber this and I'll just call this CR for character rough. Okay. So you'll see to the left of all of your columns, there's this little skinny column called camera and there's a little camera at the top. So we can select that. We want to come down. And we want to set a key at frame 14. So let's go ahead and come down here and set a key. And this will key all. Okay, and 15 is where we want the shake to start. So let's come up here and select the camera view. And let's set a key at 15. And let's come up here to the animate tool. Make sure we're on camera. And let's go to position. And on this X, we're gonna click and hold down the left mouse button. We're gonna drag just to where the white edge is not visible, okay? And so the bigger you have your background image, like I just did mine 60 pixels more than the size of the cam canvas, but if you do like 80 or 100, then that means you can push your camera even further, okay, and get more of a shake. So let's click on the Y and hold down the left mouse button and drag left will bring it down. And if we drag right, it will bring it up. So let's go down until we see the white and then just pull it back until we don't see the white barely. Okay, there we go. So if we scrub through, Boom, that's our first key, okay? It's boom, it's moving it over. So on frame 16, let's set a key. And let's just come back to our starting position. And let's, this time, let's go up on the Y. And let's go over this way on the X. And Let's go ahead and on frame 15, let's go back to 15 and let's scale it up. So globally, let's click and drag and just drag to the left and this will scale it up like this. And this will make it feel like a harder impact. Boom, okay. So let's go down to frame 17, get it back at zero. And now let's go up with it. I'm just trying to create some ran randomness, okay? So let's go to the left, see what that feels like. Boom. And we can adjust this in the curves. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So now let's go here, frame 18, set a key and scale it down again, but not as far. Let's see what it was this time, 86. So this, this time, let's just go to like, uh, 
like something like 90. Okay, and then at 20, let's set a key and let's scale it back to 100. And then 21, let's set a key and we'll scale it down to 95. And then 22, let's go down to that and set a key. Right now I'm, I'm just doing the scale. So 100 and 23, let's set a key. And we'll do 98 and frame 24. Let's go back to 100. Oops, that was 10. Okay, so now, boom. Okay, and I just want to come down here and click this and make sure it's solid. That way it sets a key for everything. There we go, boom. Okay, cool. So let's get the last frame on the position back to zero. Let's hit play again, boom. And if you really want to fine tune it, you can go over here to your animation tab and function editor. Make sure you go to open function curve editor and we can click the camera. And this will give you all of your camera parameters. And then you could go in here. Oh, let's make sure we see our curves. Let's click everything to deselect it. I'm going to scoot this up. And let's go to just the scale. And you see how it's slowly going back to normal. It goes really big. So we could even maybe offset these a little more and see what it looks like. Okay. Boom. So don't be afraid to play with this stuff, okay? Let's zoom out a little and hit play. That's pretty cool. And so now let's look at the shake on the Y. So let's uh, click scale to deselect it and go to Y. Um, middle mouse wheel to zoom out. And here's what it looks like on the Y. Okay. So just kind of, kind of sporadic. Let's go to the X and adjust this. And really, let's just kind of exaggerate it way over here. So the further you move the camera, you'll want your background to be bigger than what you're moving the camera, okay? Uh, see there, it raised up a little. So let's go down to the Y. Bring it back down like this. Okay, so you have a lot of control over this. But if you keep it on ones and always kind of think about going back to your original position, it's a good way to stay kind of, you know, centered with everything. It'll give it that feel of a shaky cam. All right. So until next time, happy animating, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.